Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and I just can't seem to stay away from Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. You guys just are eating this up, and you can't get enough of it. So many comments, so many great uh, bits of feedback and observations. Uh, so you can probably expect uh, a video a day, or at least every other day, for the foreseeable future. There's still so much to explore and do with this game as I slowly, bit by bit, find myself getting a little better at the game and mostly just learning a lot from all of you about what not to do, what to do. So we're going to continue that. Uh, there has been a slight update to the game. Uh, they made a little hot fix, so to speak, and uh, mostly centers around um, helping with the uh, frames per second so that the graphics run a little smoother. Uh, they did kind of a tweak to the uh, more powerful torpedoes so that the bigger torpedoes cause more damage. You can expect there's going to be a ton of those kinds of things happening in an alpha build where they're starting to get a lot of feedback from everyone who's playing the game. So that will happen a lot. What the game looks like now is very different than what the game is going to look like a month or two from now. Uh, and they're going to continue to add features. So uh, keep offering that feedback and I will try to pass along some of that feedback as I fill out my own little uh, kind of reports to the designers about this game. What we're going to do today is we're going to dive in. And we're going to go to this uh, particular mission here. It's called WIP Design a Dreadnought. We have to build a dreadnought and destroy a small fleet. The enemy fleet's got two battleships, uh, two cruisers, and, uh, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. That's a lot to take on with one battleship. Um, but the Dreadnought is a big ship that has plenty of large guns. If gun caliber is uniform and top speed is high, we have the definition of a perfect Dreadnought. You have to build one and destroy a fleet comprised by older ships and a semi-dreadnought, a fast capital ship equipped with more big guns than a usual pre-dreadnought. Uh, so I've got some decisions to make here, and I think I'm actually going to go with mixed technologies this time around. You can see the different things that are available, uh, and you actually unlock a bunch of components with enhanced firepower here. Um, actually, this one's got a lot more firepower. You know what? I think... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with enhanced firepower on this one. So let's go ahead and dive into the build. I just want to say a few things before I get into this. Um, one of the things is, you know, I hadn't mentioned this sooner, but I should have. My great grandfather was actually in the Navy and he served on a dreadnought, the USS Wyoming uh, in the 1920s. Uh, USS Wyoming was one of those ships uh, that we are going to be seeing in this uh, time period. Uh, he was a seaman first class, uh, served, I think, three years on the Wyoming, uh, and then eventually left the Navy. So at some point, uh, I'm going to try to design and build the Wyoming as best I can. I'm sure that you guys are going to want to see more of that. So at times, uh, I'm going to try to do my best with trying to design some of those historic ships as best I'm able to do with what is made available right now. But I'm going to play around with this a little bit. And I'm not going to design the Wyoming now. Right now I'm going to design something that I think can win this mission. Uh, so let me play with that and we'll see what we come up with. So from time to time I want to try and just talk through some of this. I'm learning a lot from you guys. I know I've got a long way to go with this. Uh, but one of the things that you start to get a sense of in this game is the need for accuracy, for example. And the need to try and reduce your reload time whenever possible. And so sometimes, rather than just going for the biggest gun because I want to have the most firepower, what I'm finding is sometimes these big guns aren't very effective. Yeah, when you land a hit, they are, but when you don't, it gets really frustrating. So as I'm looking at these things, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm thinking ahead, you know, uh, I'm going up against older ships that probably aren't going to have real huge guns. So as I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, you know, the reload time on the 12-inch guns is way better than, uh, say, the 14-inch guns, which are almost twice the reload time of the 12-inch. 13 is kind of a happy medium, and they're a little more accurate than the others. Uh, but So I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, okay, there. And then I look here, and I see that... Uh, at 1,000 meters, the three-barrel 12-inch guns are only 79% accurate, but the two barrels are 99% accurate. Uh, and same goes with the other distances. 
Uh, there's just a big difference. Now, it evens out somewhat as you get to the longer distances, but I'm really liking the two-barrel 12-inch guns for the purposes of what I'm going to do uh, in this particular battle. So I'm going to put two up front. I'm going to put two more in the back. And then this particular ship allows for a ton. Oh, yeah, I'll have to deal with the weight because uh, I've got the displacement down all the way here. I'm not sure why it was down that low. I didn't do that on purpose. Um, this actually may allow me to... Eh, maybe not. There's a big empty space here that I kind of hate, so I might drop that display, displacement and make some other changes. Okay, um, casemate guns. I can add a ton of these things. Uh, same thing here, but in this case, the bigger guns are much more accurate. Uh, so I'm going to go with those, and uh, you can see here, you can put a ton of these 7-inch guns down the side. So I'm going to I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to throw as many of these bad boys on this ship as I possibly can. Uh, and we're going to do a number on those older ships, uh, those smaller ships when we get the chance. Obviously overweight uh, and costly. So I'm going to have to make some other changes. Let me play with that a little bit. I've decided to kind of scrap what I had and restart because it was getting too expensive and I can only build one. So the Dreadnought USA test is uh, not only the lightest of the ships, it's also the least costly to build. Uh, just kind of showing you the different options here uh, as far as the displacement goes. So uh, we're gonna give this one a go and see what I can build on it. To be honest, I'm really not all that crazy about this, but I wanna give it a go. Uh, so we'll take it out and test it a little bit. I've got um, a total of eight of these 12-inch uh, guns, four in the front, four in the back, four and aft. Uh, the only uh, towers I was able to build were these cage mast ones. That's all that's available for this. And I've only got a couple of 5-inch guns on each side and then some torpedo tubes. And there wasn't a lot I could do to change things. I, I bulked up the armor a little bit. Uh, I really want to have an anti-torpedo, but again, that drives the cost to where I can't afford it. I'm going to see if maybe I can drop the displacement some to set off that cost. Because uh, I have a little bit of room in terms of my displacement that I can go down and be able to get under that magic number. I think one more ought to do it. There we go. And I'm still within the weight, so I guess I'm okay there. Um, I've got a little bit of Citadel armor. I've got one anti-torpedo. I've got this Krupp 2 armor, which is expensive, but adds to my strength of my armor and reduces the weight. Um, advanced hydraulic tur turrets, but there wasn't a, lot of, a whole lot else I could do. I went with 18-inch 18, 18 torpedoes, which were the largest that were allowed for me. So we'll test this out. I'll play with it a little bit. If it seems I'm really overmatched real quick, then we'll kind of come back in here and try this again. Uh, so let's launch and see what happens. It's a lot to ask. Two battleships up against uh, two battleships, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers. Going to have to be smart. I have a feeling it's not going to be easy. We are already within sight of these guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and start turning a little bit. And I have heard you. Uh, one other thing you know is... I'm always kind of thinking about the viewer, and so sometimes I rush through battles because I'm afraid that it'll get boring if I just go on normal speed, but I recognize that hurts my gameplay and also doesn't give you guys a chance to enjoy it. So we're going to kind of take this on normal speed, see if I can't get a little bit better at things in the process. I don't expect these first shots to land. We're kind of feeling, feeling things out a little bit right now. Not even close. It looks like we're going to take this guy out here, or we'll go after this guy. We're at 11% identification. It's going to take a while, so I'll speed things up at least for now while we start turning toward him. Problem is we're going to get eventually really close to the rest of his ships. Reload time is nice on these guns. They're a lot faster than some of the bigger guns. Ooh, not even close. Let's go ahead and go back to my side now. I 
I love the the reload speed on these. I'm starting to see the uh, the benefit to smaller guns, and starting to pay a little more attention to those little details that make a difference in battle, like reload speed, accuracy, instead of just going for heavy firepower. Those are the things you learn with time and uh, with skill, I guess. He's getting closer. Oh man, one shot short. One came lower. There's a uh, went over overshot. Uh, we got a third ship and a fourth ship now that have come into view. We're still firing on that second what we think is a battleship. Let's go ahead and get a glimpse of how close these shells are coming in. Getting closer. Oh, it looks like we're targeting two separate ships now. That's not necessarily a bad thing, I guess. Although I can see the benefit to trying to take out one right off the bat. Nobody's landed a hit so far. And we're dealing with older ships, so they're definitely not as accurate. I love the sound and the view of these guns firing. It's really satisfying. Almost as satisfying as watching a ship sink. He turned into me now, so he's coming straight at me. It does look like I've got all of my batteries available to fire on the ship that we're aiming at right now. Ooh, his shots are getting closer. It looks like my two guns fired on two different ships. Or at least they fired on two different parts of the ship. I don't know, but they definitely, those guns were going in two different areas. Maybe they're trying to spot and trying to determine range still and figuring out where things are landing. All right, he's got one of his closer ships coming in on me now. Getting closer, but still not scoring any hits. All right, there's a hit. He, he landed a hit on me for some a decent amount of damage. more of his ships firing now, so there's going to be a lot of firepower coming my way. Come on, guys. Let's score some hits. There we go. We nailed a big one. 201 damage with that 12-inch gun on his heavy cruiser. That's nice. That's 10% damage from one hit. Now both ships are firing on this guy. Let's score some more. Here they come. Come on. Oh, really close. All right, he just nailed my tower. All right, we're probably going to have to turn away because we're getting a little close. It's getting hot in here now. Oh, there's another big hit. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Oh, yes! Nice score. But he's starting to land a lot of hits on me, too. This guy's going down. Oh, my gosh, that was beautiful. Look at that. He's starting to take on water. Oh, this guy is not long for this world. Another hit or two, and he's toast. I'm doing okay so far. 
just gotta be careful. I'm afraid of getting nailed here when we're up close. Oh yeah, you're toast, dude. Come on, go down, go down. I'm hoping these fires will spread and hit something valuable that will cause it. Oh, there we go. There's another 1,600 in damage. He's sinking. He's sinking. Yes! That's one down. We've still got a lot of ships out there, though. That was a light cruiser. That wasn't one of his big gun ships. Okay, we're broadside to him right now, so I've got to be careful here. I'm at 87% too, so I've taken some hits. Ooh, that was a bad one there. That was a big hit. Come on, guys. Keep turning. There's a couple hits on his other light cruiser. He's still got both his battleships and heavy cruisers out there, though. Nice. fun now. We're actually still at double speed, but that's okay. It seems to be pretty adequate for only, I'm only handling two ships right now. Nice, nice, nice. He's going down. Bye-bye. Okay, that's both his light cruisers. But we're far from in good shape right now. Still got to take on the big boys. San Juan Batista's got some damage. We're down to 75% on him right now. So I'm going to keep turning these guys and get them, get them kind of turned back around. I'm still learning my tactics, so I'm not entirely sure what the best thing to do is in this situation. But I just know, especially from the feedback you guys are giving me, I want to make sure I don't give him an easy target broadside. We haven't really hit this battleship yet. This is the guy we're after, though. But I've got to get turned so I can get more of my guns on him. He's got some 12-inch guns, 7-inch, 3-inch, 2-inch. There's a hit and a fire. If I can take out one of his battleships and not suffer too much more damage, I'm going to start to feel a little better about my chances. So I'm going to keep turning and eventually kind of get get him at an angle again if I can just follow these shots in not a big hit but a hit he's landing some little hits on me too but nothing real major so far though I definitely have some damage going on with the San Juan Batista Santo Domingo's taking some damage now, too. He's at 71%. Ooh. Gotta be careful here. I take out this battleship, I might go after these two heavy cruisers before I take on the last battleship. 
There's a nice hit, 213 damage. Definitely landing far more hits on him than he is on me. And he's got twice as many ships as me. So you can I can I can really sense the difference with going for accuracy but smaller guns. And of course the idea that some of you have preached on, which is having all the same caliber of big guns. Definitely makes a difference. The accuracy, man, that's key. Because uh, I was so frustrated in my last battle at how poorly uh, I was shooting so you know sometimes and, and fast the speed at which you know not not waiting as long for shots because I've got lower caliber but uh, they reload a lot faster so man accuracy and reload speed seem to be my favorite things right now come on baby hit him ah. get back over there and see kind of how things are working here Getting kind of close again. Not real crazy about that. So I'm going to go ahead and start turning away. There's a couple of nice hits. How are we doing here? Is it 45%? He's only got... On these battleships, they've only got two guns that can really fire on me. I mean, they've got a few side guns, so I guess actually four guns. Those side guns look like seven inch. Come on, let's land some more hits. Good is on fire. I didn't know I was even firing on another ship right now. Where's that one? There's the Chesma. Ivan Gorod. There it is. I guess they're taking a couple hits too. Man, I want to take this battleship out though. He's landing a few hits on me here and there, but nothing real bad. Okay, there was one here. A mid-deck penetration that cost 303 damage. But otherwise, not a lot. This guy's not going to be too much longer. If I can just score a nice hit somewhere. Looks like one of his guns is locked. It got damaged. We're 65%, 78%. That does make me a little bit nervous. But I'll feel better once one of his battlefields or battleships is out of commission. Come on, guys. getting the handle on these controls. 38%. I cannot wait for the campaign in this game. I think it's a game that I'm going to spend a uh, obscenely long amount of time playing when we get the campaign mode. There's going to be so much replayability with all of the different ships, all the different nations you can play. Oh man, I'm excited about this. Multiplayer would be absolutely out of this world, but uh, since we never got it for Ultimate General Civil War, I'm not really holding my breath for that. Oh, we're landing shots, but just nothing, nothing really powerful. None of those big hits that I want. A lot of fires. See how I'm doing. 72%, 63%. It's a lot of damage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was bad. That was a big hit. He just landed on me. 
These guys are not turning all the way that I want them to. Keep turning. Keep turning. Let's make it a little tighter. There we go. I'm going to speed up to three times just for a couple minutes. Here come some big guns in. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, there's a nice hit. Oh, he just landed a big hit on one of mine, though, with a 10-inch gun. I'm getting less accurate, and I'm not, not happy about it. Probably the damage. Come on, baby. Ah. Get this battleship out of here. I'm going to go ahead and start moving in close. See if I can't score a decisive hit by getting a little closer and more accurate. And then try to take out these heavy cruisers. I don't know what kind of guns they've got on them. Let me take a look at one of those. They're small. Not well armed. So that makes me feel a little better. I just need a big hit on this guy. Man. A lot of minor hits. Nothing major. was a hit. Destroyed one of his secondary guns. Not a huge deal, but every little bit helps. Oh, I just took a big hit. I think from a torpedo. Forty-seven percent. Come on. Sink this battleship. This guy does not want to die. change things. Oh, we're firing on the other ship now. Is that, oh, that's why. Neither one of them. Why are we all firing on that ship? No. That guy. Then we'll worry about the heavy cruiser. integrity of the ship. Man. 
Sometimes big damage doesn't necessarily change the uh, situation a whole lot. I've actually lost his other battleship now. I don't even see it out there. Destroyed his main tower. Fire control damaged. That did some, some good. He's pretty well stuck in the water, it looks like. But I, as long as he can fire those guns, I'm not happy. Finish him. Okay, I'm at 58% and only 37% of the Santo Domingo. I've got to take this battleship out and try to get one of these cruisers before I lose her. sure where we're turning right now but that is not the way I want to go is her rudder destroyed I feel like I have no control over where I'm going right now I bet that's why all right she's gone finally take out this cruiser There we go. This bad boy might not last long if we land a couple of close range hits. I'm gonna go ahead and fire. I know I, I shouldn't keep switching my fire from one ship to another. Let's go look at this sinking battleship for a second. Oh, she's already going down, I'm gonna miss it. I missed it, oh no. I get to see just the tail end of the stern as she goes under in the oil slick. That other battleship's out there somewhere, but that's okay. I don't mind not having to deal with him yet. We're going to watch the view from San Juan Batista for a few minutes. There's the other battleship. Oh, she's coming in on the Santa Domingo now. That worries me a little bit. Nice. That bad boy went down. 7,000 damage. We must have hit... Hit one of his uh, ammo supplies or something. Maybe the powder. Magazine. take this thing out and then we just got to try and take out that other battleship with two very wounded ships of my own. Whoo, there's another big hit. Nice. Those guys did not last long. All right. It's on to the battleship with two wounded battleships of my own taking on one of his that's actually in really good shape. And I have actually lost a lot of my maneuverability, but not my firepower. He's got a lot of small guns. What's his, he's got a ten, uh, two 10 inch guns. Yes.
gonna be a tough angle to hit him from, but I can't really maneuver all that much. Most of his hits, he's landed on me or with four inch guns. Or his 10 inch, oh, he's out of ammo on his 10 inch. Oh man, that's glorious. The biggest he's got are five inch guns. Of course, that begs the question, how much ammo do I have in mine? Okay, I've got 214, 176 now. So I've at least got some ammo. I'm just really crippled for maneuverability. But I should have the advantage. A lot of my shells are bouncing off right now. But the angle. He's gonna come right up on me for a broadside. I think we've got this. This four, inch, four inches are just not going to cut it, my friend. Size does matter. Gotta be honest, didn't think it was gonna go this well. Might make a captain out of me yet. There's a big a ball of fire right now. Look at that. We got fires raging everywhere. And they're causing damage, and eventually they're gonna hit something that makes a difference, I think. I'm coming right up to me. Don't you blow up in my face now. Ooh. Look at all that smoke. How could anybody even be alive to be firing a gun like that shit? I gotta say, the visual effects are really cool, and I only have it on kind of average graphic settings. There he goes. All right, we got a victory. So let me know your thoughts on that. That was kind of fun. It was nice to get some success. It was nice to feel like maybe I've learned just a little bit on that particular one. So uh, we took out uh, some dreadnoughts uh, and uh, a couple of heavy cruisers, a couple of light cruisers. I feel good about that. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you want to see me do next. If you have something in particular you want to see or you want me to address or you want me to kind of show in more detail on the game, I would love to do that for you. Um, I am eventually, excuse me, eventually going to start trying to build historic ships, but I don't know nearly enough about them to do that yet. I'm trying to get myself up to speed on this stuff. So as always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Uh, a lot of new folks join in the channel because of this game. I'm grateful for all of you. If you haven't already, check out the Patreon. Uh, I'd appreciate so much if you'd support me in that way, if you are able to do so. If not, just continue watching the videos, liking, commenting, and you're supporting the channel in a big way like that. So thanks for watching, guys. We will see you again tomorrow.